Hello, my friends, and welcome to Rick Sykes' channel. And I know you're saying, where the hell have you been, Rick Sykes? Well, I'm going to answer that, and I promise you, you're all going to be saying, oh, he's out partying. Well, yeah, I was partying. I partied a lot. During our Basel, I think I went to 21 parties. I mean, you know, and in a couple, it took days to recoup. But that's not the situation I'm going to talk about today. What I'm going to talk about right now is this. I'm telling you, and this is what happened. I fell in love. That's right. I fell in love. And I fell in love with a camera. Yes, a camera. I'm not kidding. Well, numerous cameras. <sighs> I got to tell you. You know, I was in a movie called Retribution Vengaza, and I got bitten. When I say bitten, I mean I just went crazy over this. When, and, and I'm serious. I mean, I fell in love with the camera. I love being in front of a camera, and this is what happened. So I started, like, spending a lot of time figuring out how I could be in front of a camera. And somewhere, somehow, along the line... Uh, you know about my book, Drugs and Roses, which is doing very well on Amazon. I mean, I've got some great, great, great reviews. And it's uh, 4.1 or 4.2 or 4.3 stars, which is phenomenal. So, I mean, people love it. Uh, <laughs> I'm shocked, but uh, people do love it. And I do have some information on that, too, which I can't tell you because... Well, because I'm not allowed to tell you right now. I mean, I'm probably allowed, but I, uh, you know, I don't want to let the cat out of the bag yet. But something's going on with that, uh, along with other things. So let me explain something to you. So I was in the movie Retribution Vengaza, which I went crazy over, had the blast. And then from there, somewhere, somehow, I was asked to be in a movie called American Dream, which... Oh, unbelievable. That was done by the movie studio out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. What a great, great movie that's going to be. Um, you, know, you won't see it for a year, maybe a year and a half. I'm one of the stars in it. They have some beautiful people in that. Great director, great producer. Uh, the stars in that show were just unbelievable. The camera people, I mean, everybody. It was just, it was a gem. It was just fun to be with. And then right after that, when I say right after, I mean directly after that, I did a movie called The Hustler. Now, that's a, a movie that is just amazing. Uh, this guy, Christopher Lopez, is the author, and he did a, a, a bang-up job of a book, and uh, this book is a bestseller, and they're making a movie of it, and they asked me to be in it. I have a starring part in that movie. Uh, um, it's, it's produced by You Got It Films out of Houston, Texas, and uh, You Got It Films has done numerous films, and they're top shelf. They're good, and they know what they're doing. So um, I assure you, this is this is another movie that that was phenomenal. The actors were tremendous. I mean, very professional, extremely professional. Had a great time with them. I loved every second of it. And I'll tell you something. You know, the more I do, the more I fall in love with it. Well, now I got to tell you some, another crazy story about what what else is going on. I did another. I did another scenario called Rick Sykes Dirty Laundry. You may remember me doing that while I was talking to you guys before. Well, somehow, somewhere, it's on Vimeo. Yes, Vimeo picked it up. And not only is it on Vimeo, it's on Pornhub. <laughs> and there's no porn in it. I know. Go figure. And it's doing well there, too. People love it. I, I don't know, but it's, it's crazy. But people do love it. So, I don't know. And somewhere along the line, it got a, an award, uh, um, a viewing award uh, up in Orlando for Film Slam. And uh, they viewed it up there and they loved it and people like it. So I, I'm just thrilled. I'm thrilled that our, people are enjoying what I do. People really tell me that, that this is what I sh should have done all my life. But I have to tell you, you know, my life, if you ever read my book, Drugs and Roses, you know my life has been one huge roller coaster huge and i wouldn't have traded one second of it and i'm not kidding so i gotta tell you that tells you how busy i've been but there's a lot more and i'm going to tell you this one of the uh crown jewels for me was uh the celebrity host at the ritz carlton hotel for their 20th anniversary and um, uh, it, it was just an amazing event. 550 people, a private affair, just beautifully done. The Ritz-Carlton just went overboard, of course. 
and the young lady who produced it all, Deborah D. Slett, what a phenomenal job she did. I mean, this girl is a pro. Besides a musician and an architect, she's amazing. So, I mean, and I thank her for giving me the opportunity of of doing what I do in front of people. And which you know, I mean, if you remember listening to me, I mean, I've already done stand-up in front of people, and I'm just having the time of my life. Not only at the uh, Ritz Carlton was me there and, uh, and, uh, and 550 people, but we also had George Clinton, the famous George Clinton, and the funny Rohan Marley. So, I mean, I had so much fun with that, and uh, right after, and that was me in my tuxedo, of course, and then right from there, two days later, as in another tuxedo, doing another fashion show, and, you know, I mean, it just didn't stop, and if you think about it, on top of all that, I was doing the swim weeks, and, I mean, this is what I, so, I just want you to know, yes, I have been busy, crazy busy, but now I'm going to tell you the most important part, and this is something that I think you're going to get a kick out of. I'm in the middle of doing a, another reality show. <laughs> yes, and this is big. This should be huge. Uh, but then again, you never know. I mean, they may pick it up. It may be too racy. It may be too crazy. I will tell you this. There's a lot of drama in this show that I'm doing. A lot. And uh, it's not one of these little shows. We had three cameras on this thing. Uh, the camera crew from True Life Films, they were amazing. They did a phenomenal job. Uh, Stefan Cheech, uh, he did the cutting of this, uh, the film, uh, the, the shooting. And I mean, it's just amazing. We had eight different models, um, sound engineer. I mean, overboard. Okay. And it is phenomenal, if I do say so myself. And it also stars Rick Sykes. <laughs> and I tell you, when you want to see some funny stuff. Now, I mean, if you read my book, you know some of the stuff is really funny and really racy. Well, that's what this is, but it has nothing to do with my book. It has nothing to do with me. It's just, well, I can't tell you what it is. So, uh, but when it does come out, you're going to sit there, you're going to love it. And this will be, this will be star studded. I promise you, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be a long time before it comes out, so don't hold your breath. Just like the other movies I've done, that's going to be a long time too. Uh, now, something else that I have not told you about is this is something big too. <sighs> I was asked to be in, and of course I said yes, with a TV series, which is going to be beginning shooting in late February or March and uh, it's done by You Got It Films again, they are phenomenal but it's a series TV series and they're doing a casting uh, they're doing a casting actually this week uh, in Houston, Texas for the Houston part they're going to be doing a casting in Miami for the Miami part and what do I play in the in the, the show, in Miami part? I can't tell you, <laughs> but I promise you, you're gonna wanna watch this show. This show is gonna be unbelievable. It is a TV series. They are gonna be doing a, a casting in Miami for actors and actresses for this show. Uh, it is a TV series. Remember that's not a movie. So if you can afford to spend the time and enjoy it and you know, then you ought to try to get involved with this. Remember, it's Northside. You'll be hearing about it. They'll be putting up uh, casting calls for us very soon. And that should be shooting, uh, hopefully, end of February, beginning of March. And I can't wait for that one also. So as you see, yes, I've been busy. I've been crazy busy. <laughs> yes. And you see how much fun I'm having? I'm loving.